You were punishing me for trying to help you. What part of, of, of disrespecting the five families and almost getting yourself killed do you think is helpful? The part where I made everyone believe that you were dead. The part where I told my mother lies and everyone else that loves us. It's the part where, you know what, I cried my, my eyes out thinking about what it would have been like if you really were dead. You know what, Sonny? You needed me, and I came through. So if I'm sorry if it wasn't exactly the way you wanted it, but I did the best that I could. I am just, I'm, I'm just stating a fact. You will, not, you will not be part of my business again. It made me a rich man, it, but it damn near destroyed me, and I'm not going to let it destroy you. Can we sit down? You almost died tonight, all right? If Baldwin and the rest of the cops hadn't shown up when they did, those men would have killed you for wearing that wire. Sonny, I would have come up with a way. You always like, come up with a way. I would have said Jason was on the other end, or Benny, no, or something. No someone. amount of bluffing, no grandstand with a baseball bat would have saved you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You almost died. Because of me, because I put that wire on you instead of taking care of this weeks ago. Okay, which I well, you I know what, I'm not, I'm not dead, I'm the here, mob, okay? The mob, the mob is my life, not yours. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I accept the risks I take for myself, but I'm not going to accept them for you. I know that this is but it's a fact. I love you. You are my wife. You are my life's partner. But I will end this right here before I, I, I let you get tainted by my business. I know you were trying to help. Okay? I know you were trying to help. But you were in way over your head and I put you there. I kept telling myself that this was just a stall, that this is all going to be over as long as Algazar is dealt with, but it's gone on way too long. I have risked too much. And I don't want, I don't want to ever risk you again. Okay? All right. Here, but we missed him. Just so you're aware, this house is surrounded by an armed security team. And should I scream, they will not hesitate to shoot you through your old shriveled evil heart, so don't tempt me. Oh, on the contrary, I'm here to, uh, to congratulate my prodigal granddaughter. You see, I'm a <laughs> I'm a pretty formidable opponent, my dear. But you've beaten me hands down, and I just thought I would uh, drop by to give you the opportunity to gloat. No, you've come to rub my nose in something. Since you are here, could you give Grandmother this thank you note for the beautiful crystal goblet she gave me and Jax for our wedding? These belong to my grandmother. I, I can't believe that Lila would give them away. Well, unlike you, Grandmother considers me family. Oh, say, speaking of family, where's, um, where's your besotted groom? Oh, don't tell me his attention has wandered already. That's it. Get out. You mustn't blame yourself, dear. You see, this is a very common occurrence to uh, goal-oriented and uh, very competitive men like Jax. Once, once the prize, you in this case, once the prize has been won, then uh, these men quickly lose interest and... Uh, want to go on to their next objective. I don't have to point out the obvious to you, do I? I imagine that's where Jax is now, pursuing his newest heart's desire. Hmm? Why? Because it's 
closer than Alaska. I don't know you happen to like it there. I've got the jet standing by. I fly you down, and uh, you can stay in the uh, French quarters if you want. You want me to stay in the same place that we stayed the night before our wedding that didn't happen? Uh, no, no. You can uh, stay anywhere you want. I mean, it doesn't even have to be New Orleans. You can. No, New Orleans is fine. It's good. Yes, it's fine. Okay, because I thought, you know, you felt comfortable there last time. And... Believe me, I don't, I don't want to leave you alone. I'm going to have to drop you off down there and come back here and deal with Alpha Zero. I'll make sure that no one no one is able to track us when we go down there. I think that New Orleans is a great idea. Jason won't look for me there. Luis doesn't know about it. I, uh... I never told him about that night. We were so happy that night. Oh, but no. Why didn't you trust me? Why didn't you love me enough to, to believe me that I would stand by you through anything? It doesn't matter anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made my vows to Sky. She gave me a heart. Now I don't know how to keep those vows. Because I made those same promises to you. Why didn't you believe them? I wanted you to be a...